What you got there, Ben? Found one. Found one. Yeah. Little guy. Oh. Whoa. Quick release. Yeah. I never even touched it. <laughs> There's one. Oh. Stay down. Oh, yeah. Mm, Lee. <laughs> what here? Hugh got robbed back there. I got robbed. <laughs> Let's see if they'll hit that fat free shad again. There you go. You know, all that we've caught a lot of fish, but the bigger fish today have really come on the crankbait. Yes. There's one. Nope. That was me. I got that, your that line. Was, I thought I felt something. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute here. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. No. Ain't your fault. I probably threw right over you. Well, I got you. <laughs> Got your big catch so far. Yeah. <laughs> you, this makes a little end of a bar right here. So I'm gonna go out around the buoy and we'll start throwing back that direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A double. <laughs> oh. Hey, we got two good ones. We got two good ones. Mm-hmm. Come here, buddy. Tell you what, I got him now. Boy, they got some strength to them. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Cameraman. I think mine's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might be some fish right there. I think so. There we go. Oh. Good grief, he come on. A swing and a miss. How did I miss that fish? Hey, come back, got well, it. He came back, got it. <laughs> Good he job. He came back, he came back. He just couldn't help himself. No. He came back. He crawled all over him. <laughs> come here, be still. You know what I'm gonna have to do now, don't you, Hugh? The spoon? No. Uh-oh. I'm gonna run this big crankbait right down through there. <clears throat> oh, he's got another one on. Ah, uh, is this in a little one? No, nothing came off. When you set the hook, it looked huge. Yeah. Uh, theatrics. Now, Ben, this is a far cry from what we were doing the last time we were out here. <laughs> we were going from one foot of water, now we're <laughs> into the 40 foot of water. Yeah, exactly. Ah. Seasons change and the fish swim around. <laughs> That's right. They do that now. They do, they do. Well, we were mud hogging in the spring. Yeah, we went mudding, didn't we? We went mudding. Catching fish where they're not supposed to be. That's right. You know, and I found that during the hot part of the summer, like we're in now, it seems like they, they lay off the jig bite a little bit and, and they get a little better on a 10-inch on a, a piece of plastic. Yeah. You know. Yum ribbon tail worm works well. The, the Terry Scroggins Big Show paddle tail worm, that works really oh, well. Yes. Now we're using two different colors out here too, and it's it's really not making any difference. Nah. You can't on Kentucky Lake you can't go wrong with any kind of red, plum, red shad, those type colors, or the green pumpkins. A lot of people like watermelon with red flake. I mean, I'm gonna pick this marker up. It's mainly just whatever you feel confident in throwing. Absolutely. Now, if the water color, if you were to get a lot of rain and the water dinges up a little bit, then I'll go to like a black and blue or a June yeah. bug type color. Yeah. Now, Ben, we're after the green fish today. 
And that's that's all we've really caught. Mm -hmm. Where's a smallmouth right now on Kentucky Lake, you feel? I wish I knew. <laughs> I wish I knew. You know, I mean, uh, every time I've ever tried to go out and target smallmouth, I mean, you have a better odds of, of doing that in the wintertime, late yeah. fall, early spring. This time of year, I don't know, we catch a big one every now and then. They're just like they cruise around. They carry suitcases. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do. They carry suitcases and you never know where they're gonna show up. I have been burned on several occasions finding smallmouth the day before a tournament and then you show up at your tournament and they're not there. They're not there. But I've had tournaments where I had no intention of catching smallmouth and catch two or three good ones. That's like, uh, you know, another big game fish that a lot of people come to Kentucky like to catch is those shell crackers. The real big shell crack. Absolutely. Man, Kentucky Lake has got them. Certain times of the year, um, they just. I have a picture right now on my phone. A good friend of mine, Neil Stover, sent me yesterday. He has one on scales. I have it on my phone. I will show it to you. And the fish weighed over two pounds. That's shell awesome. cracker. That's yesterday. An awesome shell cracker. Yesterday. Man. But when they come off, when they're off of bed, where do they go? They I mean, come out. They come out to the ledges too. Yeah, you don't ever hear of anybody though really, really hammering them after they get off bed. They come out on the ledges. They just come out here. They get on the bars, ledges. Mm -hmm. Right here, we're going to throw into about 13 feet of water. Mm -hmm. And catch them like that. All right. 